Hello guys and welcome to a new lesson in Linux. This lesson is about creating your first virtual machine. Okay, now to start a new virtual machine, you will click here on the new on the blue button and it will open for you the wizard from which to create a new virtual machine. But I'll click cancel for now to show you that there are two other ways in which you can create a new virtual machine. So the first way is from here from the blue button which has the word new beneath it or you can click here on machine and then click on new from here which will open for you the same wizard. And the third way that you can do it is by pressing control and N and it will open for you the wizard to start a new virtual machine. Okay, now the first step over here is to choose a name for the virtual machine and the type of operating system that you will install on this virtual machine. So for example, I'll choose the name my Linux. And you can notice here that it appeared uh, next uh, when I typed Linux, it has appeared the type Linux and the version Linux it has recognized by the name that I am typing. Okay so now let's have a look at the types of operating systems that you can install. From here next to type you will click here and you can see that there are types like Microsoft Windows, Linux, Solaris, BSD, IBM, Mac and some others. We will keep it on Linux. And from here the version, of course, there are many versions of the Linux. But I will install Linux CentOS. And Linux CentOS is exactly like Red Hat. So I will click here on Red Hat 64-bit. And then after you have finished, you will click Next. Uh, sorry about that. That's because I, I had the... Uh, a previous machine which has the same name right so I will just make a, a small difference in here I will name this my Linux one and then next okay now from here you will choose the memory size the RAM I'll type over here a thousand and twenty four of course you can choose the number from here by typing or you can choose it from this meter over here by increasing and decreasing. So now after I have typed the 1024 megabytes, first of all you can see here that the virtual box is telling me that I have about 8 gigabytes as the total size and by that I am telling the virtual box to reserve for me about one gigabyte from these eight gigabytes that you have. The virtual box reserves one gigabyte for the virtual machine from the physical RAM. Note that the virtual machine will not will only use this size while it's turned on, but when it's turned off, it will not be using anything from the physical RAM. So after setting the size, you will click next. From here you will create the hard disk for the virtual machine and in here anything you create will be virtual so it will be called virtual hard disk, virtual RAM, virtual processor and so on. And here there are three options. The first option is do not add a virtual hard drive and this means that you will create a virtual machine that doesn't have a hard disk and that you can add a hard disk later. The second option is create a virtual hard drive now and this means to create a hard disk right now. The third option is use an existing virtual hard drive file and this means that if you have an existing virtual hard disk I'll choose it from here. But as you can see here it's empty because I don't have previous virtual hard disks so I will keep it here on create a virtual hard drive now and then I will click on create. Okay now here it's asking me to choose the type of file or the extension 
of the hard disk as you can see here as default it's selected on VDI the first option over here and this will be the extension of the hard disk file you can see here there is VMDK if I choose VMDK this means that this hard disk can be seen by other hypervisors like for example the VMware workstation and the VMware ESX here you have another option which is VHD and this means that the Microsoft Hyper-V will be able to see it and of course there are some other extensions over here for the hard disk file but I will keep it on VDI and then I will click next okay now here it will ask me about the storage on physical hard drive from here we have two options the first option is dynamically allocated and the second option is fixed size let's start with fixed size the fixed size here means that if I tell the computer that I want a hard disk space of 20 gigabytes it will reserve for me the size of 20 gigabytes as one block which that file of the hard disk will have the size of 20 gigabytes but if I choose dynamically allocated and I told the computer that I want the size of the hard disk to be 20 gigabytes it will reserve for me a small file which has the size of 1 gigabyte and as more as I insert data in the hard disk the hard disk file will then start to grow according to how much data I put until it reaches the size of 20 gigabytes that I set for and it stops so now which is better dynamically allocated or fixed size probably dynamically allocated is better because if I want the hard disk space to be 20 gigabytes I can't estimate how much data I am going to put on this virtual hard disk for this virtual machine so I will choose the hard disk space to be 20 gigabytes it will reserve for me a small file that starts with 1 gigabyte maybe all of the softwares that I want to uh, that I'm going to install on this operating system that is on the virtual machine will only use 15 gigabytes then the file size will stop at 15 gigabytes size and as more as you insert data it will keep growing until it reaches the size that you had limited for so I'll keep it on dynamically allocated and then I will click next and then from here you will choose the uh, the location where you want it to be saved from here so I will leave it I will leave the location as it is and from here you will choose the limited size I will make it 20 gigabytes and then after you have finished the size and the name and the location that you want it to be saved in you will click on create and as you can see over here it has you have the new machine by the name my Linux one or the name that you have set and by this session we have seen how to create your first virtual machine thank you for watching and see you in the next session